Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities and Miniatures. Today we have another Legends of Sigma model. Today is something fun and funky. It is Zybor Falcon the Skull Crusher. And it's hard to see right here in the package, but he's basically dressed up as a Polish winged hussar, which is kind of fun and interesting. Because why not? Why not have Polish orcs traditionally dressed? Some kind of a hussar. It's not like just the Poles were decked out in those feathered wing things. All right, let's get the card out. This one of the older cards. He looks like he's got a 50 millimeter base. That does not look like a 40. Yep. I do like the fact that Legends of Signum tends to make pretty large models. It kind of is a bit easier to do the painting. Some of us don't have the greatest eyesight to begin with. Let's see what we're dealing with. Now, I know that Legends of Sigmund does offer up um, metal models on a few of their catalog, but mm, the bulk of it actually is in resin, and I do really enjoy their resin. They're really nice, characterful sculpts. Again, the armor is really well detailed, as you can see there. Got a big billowy sleeves underneath his armor there. Very orky face. And I have no idea where you're supposed to put this. He's got a nice... Is it a bear? Or is it a wolf? I'm not sure. Maybe it's going to go around his torso. His legs are one piece. And it looks like... I don't know. <laughs> Just like sticking... Oh! Oh, okay. I looked at the card. That helped. It actually is supposed to go over his shoulder like so. I guess if you really wanted to leave it off, you could. But do keep in mind you're going to have to put on his wings as well. I'm going to have to clean that off. This is interesting. It's a very different orc model. I forget which faction is which in the game. I know it's on there somewhere. Hmm. Is this a helmet? Ooh, a nice touch. It's almost like an action figure or something. Big runed sword. I am digging this guy. I really am. You know, he's almost big enough... Definitely he can be used as some kind of an orc war boss and with those big fancy wings on his shoulders. I mean, he's really going to stand out. You might even be able to get away with using him as an ogre. Tell you what, let me get him put together. I'll go grab an ogre and see if I have any basic orcs. I think I, at least I got a sci-fi 40k boy somewhere. But we'll take a look and we'll see how he is all put together. I'm thinking I might leave the helmet on. I don't know. I'm rambling to myself. Anyway, I'll stop talking. I'm going to be built. So, Zebor, Zybor, Zebor, I don't know. The Skull Crusher, Zebor Falcon, the Skull Crusher, to be precise, is all put together here. And he went together really smooth. He was a nice model. I went ahead and just glued everything on here. You do need to glue his arm on before you put on the pelt there. It made things a whole lot easier. Now, on his wings... There were two little tiny plugs, and I thought it was actually flash or something that needed to be clipped off. Don't do it. It was actually little support rods that went inside the holes that are the guides for his wings there. And they're actually spaced apart differently, so you shouldn't have too much of an issue getting them attached. So I really do dig that. And honestly, you can probably leave off the helmet if you really wanted to. I went ahead and glued mine on, obviously. And then the tabard and everything went really nice and smooth as well. How big is he? Because, I mean, he is on a 50 millimeter base here. Well, grabbing the only orc model that I can actually find, you can see he is pretty big. So, you know, if you wanted to run him as, you know, what were they, the Crudgers or whatever, the orc warlords and kings of war that, you know, you just count him as being on... Uh, mount or something he's got his magic wings he's flying across the battlefield or something it's just it's a cool model i think he's probably more in scale with like a gw ogre i mean if you wanted to paint him up like an ogre might work but uh 
Ooh, what is it? The Iron Jaw Mega Boss. That might be a good comparable one. I think he'd be a little bit taller, but he's got the overall the girth, the weight to him. And it's just an interesting look. You don't see many fully armored orcs. Nicely armored orcs, I should say. That is a bit of a rarity. It is quite nice, quite clean. And I mean, I'd, I'd say the only real orky embellishment would be the trophies hanging off of his wings here and on his pelt there. So, I don't know. I'm really interested in seeing if there's any actual painted models of this guy out there. I haven't come across any yet, but, you know, who knows? Maybe mine will be the first. But definitely a fun model from Legends of Signum. So if you're interested, I'll put a link down below because, honestly, they have quite an interesting range of stuff. And we should grab a human or two just to give you guys a good indication as well. And I do actually have a couple of painted Legends of Signum models. I love this model. She is from the same game line. So do definitely take a look because there is all kinds of interesting craziness that they already have available and they do run specials every now and then, especially around holidays. So do take a look. With that said, this is High Lord Tamberlane with Obscurities and Miniatures. Saying thanks for watching and we'll see you back here soon. Bye-bye.